um, I don't think we should attack Syria. I don't think we should. Um, uh, this has been a big topic of conversation in my family. Uh, I, I, I don't. I'm very disappointed. I don't think that we should be doing this. I don't. I think I love Obama. I voted for Obama. I don't agree. Resolution in uh, Iraq. We've proven that sometimes uh, our intelligence isn't always coming up with the right answers. I think that we need to explore all possible solutions before we take military action. I think we need to listen to our Congress. I think we need to need to listen to other world leaders and uh, rely on uh, prudence before we move ahead in this uh, situation. Uh, it's a difficult situation. I, I don't want to see another Iraq. I don't necessarily agree with what happened there. Um, and uh, I, I don't think it's necessarily the United States uh, position to play police to the world. You know, being the United States and I guess the world, the civilized world, together we should be standing up to say we don't accept genocide, we don't accept chemical warfare, and if you do these things and support terrorism, there will be grave and swift consequences. Yeah, chemical warfare, nuclear warfare uh, is, is not to be stood for. So I think uh, if you, uh, if somebody is threatening it, um, then we're, we're to make a, a move to stop it. Absolutely. Uh, it's too risky to just leave it be. And we have that moral responsibility to work that out. Hopefully it won't lead to military action. Something can precede that, hopefully. Yeah, yeah well, we do have to do something about it. We can't just ignore it completely. And other, I think it's not just us, it's several other nations in the world who have the same responsibility.